From the land of the dead to the city of angels, Miguel, Coco, and Dante now have their own holiday. Annenberg Media's Anissa Claiborne tells us what Coco Day in L.A. means for the Latin community. You make me un poco loco, un recognize his face, but his voice is one that Coco viewers can't forget. This is the voice of Miguel. Hola, Miguel. Hola. Cast, contributors, and the LA community gathered at City Hall to celebrate the new February 27th holiday, Coco Day in LA. A time where uh, immigrants are maligned every day by the Trump administration where the threat of deportation and separation of families hovers over every uh, immigrant that lives in this country. It's important for people to really know uh, the true nature of the Mexican immigrant and of the Mexican family. The film tells the story of a 12-year-old aspiring musician and includes almost an entirely Latino voice cast. Co-director and USC alum says he received feedback from the Latin community while making the movie. We traveled down to Mexico many times. Um, we recruited a bunch of great Latino um, consultants to be a part of making the film and I think all those things added up into a lot of little details that uh, the community has recognized and embraced. To many here today, Coco was not just a movie. It was an opportunity for the Latino culture to shine. It means a lot that the culture um, that I love so much and that I celebrate with my family personally and speaking Spanish all day and going to Mexico means so much to me that it was portrayed by my favorite company by Disney. The box office breaking film won a Golden Globe for Best Animated Motion Picture and is nominated for two Oscars. For Annenberg Media, I'm Anissa Claiborne.